Yeah. Right. Hi, Marcus. So, how have you enjoyed being back at your former club today? Oh, it's been a good experience. This is the second time I've been here um, doing this workshop. I think it's valuable to the young players that are here. Mm -hmm. um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of it as well with the kind of stories we can share with them and the experiences that they've already had at a young age and how we can guide and support them. And what does it mean to you to have the chance to sort of educate the next generation of young players coming through about the importance of equality, inclusion, diversity in our key messages? I think it's, it's vitally important to tap into the younger age, age groups. Um, how would we want the game in 10 years time? It depends on this generation right now and how we can um, fill them with good guidance, good support as I said already. Um, help them with their education and knowledge about certain topics and how they can face it and deal with it differently mm -hmm. and that should hopefully make a, a big difference in five or ten years time. Mm -hmm. And do you think yourself as an ex-player that you're able to have a sort of stronger impact on the mindset of sort of football's emerging talents because of your, your own history? Yes definitely, um, you know I've come through that whole process from 14 all the way up, I've seen uh, many good things many not so good things as well as part of my football, footballing journey um, and I feel just to, just to share parts of it with the young players and help, them, help to guide them through um, and support as again I keep saying that word support is vital for these kids at this age mm. in, in terms of their development it's not just about what they do on the pitch it's how they move off the pitch how they need to see themselves as role models as well um, which is difficult for them in, at their age but they are role models mm. they're at an elite club a very good football club and they have to you know act accordingly to, towards that club and yes yeah, so it's interesting you talk about role, role models do you think they find it easy to understand that even if they're 14 they might be a role model for you know a kid younger down the academy do you think that's easy for them to understand i think we've had experiences with them that they they do they do sometimes see themselves as role models they have mm -hmm. families and friends that all talk about their football and in other cases some some players don't have their football spoken about so we need to kind of help get them through that process as well but you know we can all influence people whoever is around us um, mm -hmm. once you've got that badge on your chest and you're walking around everybody knows who you're playing for mm -hmm. and you have to you know respect the club that you play for and the environment that you walk around in as well and I, I mean finally really I mean how important do you think sessions like these are in in sort of really trying to tackle discrimination from an early age how important do you think a session like this is with with the youngsters at Watford today well, it's a learned behaviour as well. You, you learn from your environment um, from a very early age. You, you've been influenced from, from, as I said, an early age. Um, and some of those influences ain't quite right. But we're here to, you know, not just to develop the players, but even talk to the parents as well on the environment they create around that elite child and help them through their development. Because, you know, they're going to keep learning um, throughout the years and we want to just influence them in a positive way so they become a better person as, as well as a better player. Yeah.